in with chapter number 16 from your economics book of grade 11 and the name of the chapter is definition scope importance and limitations of statistics so let us start from the meaning of statistics the word statistics is used as a plural noun as well as singular noun so we have to define it or we have to understand the meaning in both the sense what is a singular sense and what is they are defining in a plural sense so let us come to this point that is the statistics is defined as in, uh, defined in two senses number one is statistics as numerical facts or statistical data in plural sense statistics means numerical statements or facts related to the field of knowledge or enquiry so thus in this plural sense statistics refers to the information in terms of numerical data the numerical facts may relate to another branch of knowledge whether economics physics chemistry sociology public administration medicine or maybe any other branch okay next we are having so we can say that the in the plural sense we are saying that it is dealing with the knowledge or enquiry and in the second part they are saying statistics as statistical methods in the singular sense statistics refers to statistical methods or techniques it is a science or a body of knowledge with which relates to the methods of collecting classification presentation and description analysis and interpretation of numerical facts or data so what is the method or technique that we are applying in order to collect analyze or you can say present um, or describe okay the data this is in the singular sense next definition of statistics it have been defined by numerous economists but we are going to study only in the plural sense first we are going to study about the plural sense in the plural sense and so uh, horace secrets has defined statistics as aggregates of facts first point aggregates of facts you have to remember this aggregates of facts affected to the market extent by multiplicity of causes this is the second point multiplicity of causes numerical expressed numerically expressed third point okay estimated according to reasonable standards of accuracy accuracy is the fourth point collection collected in systematic manner fifth point systematic manner for the for a predetermined purpose and place in relation with each other sixth point relation with each other now let us break down this definition because it is having too many terms so first is aggregate facts number 1 so statistics are aggregate facts so no conclusion can be drawn from a single numerical fact okay if somebody is saying we are having students in a school that is maybe 1500 or 2000 students in a school so that is not a aggregate fact that is not a we cannot say that is a statistics that is not making a sense okay so if we say there are 200 students in class 12 300 students in class 9 or maybe 500 students in class 5 okay that is making a statistical sense no conclusion can be drawn from a single numerical fact it if this numerical fact is not placed in relation with any other numerical fact it is not a statistics so statistics should be aggregate of facts okay so it should be aggregate of facts and not only one fact only as this facts can be compared and a conclusion can be drawn from them point number 2 statistics are numerically expressed okay so statistics are always expressed in terms of numbers only numerical means in terms of number only height of the student in a class or the age of the students or 
यू नो एनी काइंड ऑफ डेटा वट इज़ अ स्कोर इन मैथ साइंस ऑल दिस काइंड इट इज़ इन अ न्यूमरिकल इट इज़ नॉट अ क्वालिटेटिव ओके इट इज़ नॉट अ क्वालिटेटिव फैक्ट दैट इट इज़ अ जेंटल इज हैंडसम इज ब्यूटिफुल काइंड हार्टेड दिस काइंड ऑफ पॉइंट्स वी आर नॉट कैलकुलेटिंग वी आर सींग ओनली द नंबर्स नेक्स्ट पॉइंट नंबर थ्री स्टैटिस्टिक्स डेटा अफेक्टेड बाय मल्टीप्लिसिटी ऑफ कॉजेज ओनली वन कॉज वी कैन नॉट टेक एज द फैक्ट सो स्टैटिस्टिक्स आर नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय एनी सिंगल फैक्टर बट आर इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय मेनी फैक्टर्स डेटा रिलेटेड टू नंबर ऑफ डेथ्स इन अ टाउन इज स्टैटिस्टिक्स Okay, in the, this town, this many people died. That town, that many people died. This is statistics. There are several causes of deaths. According, you can say, like accident is there, diseases are there, hunger, heat, old age, anything can be. If data relates to only one cause, say accident, in an accident, numerous people died. So that is, we can say that data will not be the aggregation of the fact. Yeah, in an accident, this many people died on spot. This many people were hospitalized. This many people were injured. This is a statistical fact. The fourth point: statistics must be estimated according to the reasonable standards of accuracy. So, accuracy is the main point here. Okay, a reasonable degree of accuracy must be ensured while collecting statistical data. Lack of accuracy, that means perfection. can lead to a misleading or a wrong conclusion estimates are made on the basis of some principle that has to get followed each and every time fifth point statistics are collected in a systematic manner it cannot be random or haphazard haphazardly collected data do not serve the purpose of statistics while collecting data there should be a clearly laid down plan or we lay out play without a plan the data may not lead to the correct conclusion sixth one statistics are collected for a pre determined purpose already we are having we have selected the purpose for what we are collecting the data facts which are not related for the given purpose should not be collected all the facts which have an influence on the object of the study must be collected so the facts which are having some object some aim some importance in our study it is having some purpose that kind of data only must be collected any information collected without any definite purpose will only be a numerical value and not a statistics next point and the last point so statistics are placed in relations to each other we can say the facts have to be compared the comparison and may be over time or over geographical area or over different causes unless numerical data are related to each other and are comparable they cannot be called statistics so therefore we have to end this uh, plural definition of statistics by saying that all numerical data cannot be called as statistics but all statistics are called numerical data next we are coming to the single singular definition and of statistics in singular definition statistics singular definition of statistics we have to say that the statistics is a method or a technique of dealing with the numerical facts it involves collection of data how they are collecting the data on numerical facts presenting them in a systematic manner analyzing or condensing this data uh, and then interpreting them or drawing a conclusion from them so what is the technique they are using this is a single or it is a singular definition of statistics what is the scope scope of statistics so statistics prevails uh, in all the fields or in life around us it has become an 
इनडिसपेंसिबल टूल और यू कैन से अनफॉरगेटेबल टूल टू ड्रॉ द कंक्लूजन एंड ऑफ मेकिंग डिसीशंस इन वेरियस फील्ड्स सिंस वी यूज दिस स्टैटिस्टिक्स मेक आवर नॉलेज मोर प्रिसाइज एज द यूज ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स इज बींग स्प्रेड इन ऑल द फील्ड्स ऑफ स्टडी स्टैटिस्टिकल मेथड इनेबल अस टू ड्रॉ कंक्लूजन फ्रॉम अ वास्ट वेराइटी ऑफ डेटा we can study the relationship between the various aspects of the subject in the next class we shall start from the importance of statistics in economics and what are its limitations thank you